What are the best pads to use for urinary incontinence? Hi, my name is Madeline Golick. I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist practicing out of Mississauga, Ontario. And let's talk about incontinence products because when you have bladder leakage, you're gonna need some support. And when you're working with a pelvic health physiotherapist, it's gonna take some time for the exercises to begin to take effect. So you're gonna need some form of protection. Now, the number one thing clients will tell me that they are doing when it comes to pad is using menstrual pads. They have to understand blood, and urine have a different consistency. And so the way the pads are designed, the way the weave, uh, the cross weave of a menstrual pad versus a urinary, urinary pad is gonna be different. So urinary pads are meant to draw that liquid from the surface such that you're not kind of feeling that moisture and then having it irritating your skin. Certainly there are increased risks for developing urinary tract infections. If you um, are perhaps more prone, if you're not changing the pads often enough, or of course, you know, if it's not being absorbed well enough, of course that's gonna sit more toward the surface. Surface. So if you are using menstrual pads for incontinence, I highly recommend making a switch to urinary pads. Now, there are some other products available on the market, such as incontinence underwear. So this is like underwear that catches bladder leaks. That might be a good option uh, if you want to be able to wear something as a just in case, maybe more annoying if you're having more frequent leaks because then you might feel like you wanna change more often and then that can get a little bit costly. But if you're like for the most part in control of the bladder and you want more of like a just in case, those might be a great option because then you could just wash, change at the end of the day and it's a little bit of cost savings on the pads. There are also these very very special tampons that are made um, specifically for bladder control. So they insert and they open up in a very specific way to try to give you some additional support, which might be really helpful for individuals who uh, wanna do more exercise and the muscles just haven't caught up but don't wanna stop the exercise, but don't want the bladder leakage, that might be a good option uh, to use that for more activity-based. Uh, I certainly wouldn't necessarily wear them all day, uh, but that is another option for bladder leakage. And you should be looking at working with a physiotherapist, a pelvic floor physiotherapist to address your bladder leakage so that we can eventually get you off of those products or just using them as a just-in-case versus actually needing them for leakage. So if you're looking to work with me, head on up to the link in my bio or just follow along for more tips and info.